What's up Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 battle for you today and we have the boy here marching forward at some reason at the pyramids. I don't know why they're here but they are at the battle of the pyramids for some reason. So we have a 2v2 uh, Bactria and Egypt versus boy and Epirus and so far it looks like it's going to be the boy versus Bactria and it looks like Epirus is going to set up defensively to take on um, Egypt by the looks of his formation here. So we'll we'll see what happens in this battle. It could be interesting. It looks like Bactria and Egypt are going to have to take the offensive. It looks like the other two sides aren't too inclined to make the assault, which is fair enough because Bactria has brought Indian armored war elephants. Um, the balance of power is probably in uh, the favor of the, well, if we call them the defenders, Boy and Epirus. But anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well in this self-isolation uh, period. Um, well, certainly it's for me anyway. I hope you're all staying healthy and well and stuff like that and not getting uh, enjoying it isolation able to do uh, stuff that you want to do like I don't know in my case watch Lord of the Rings um, all over again uh, that was fun and uh, play a lot of video games obviously and show off to you guys some excellent battles um, so if you're new around here then please do leave a like subscribe and a comment because I do read all you guys uh, all your guys' comments um, and if I don't reply to them um, probably because there's nothing to reply to, but I try to reply to as many as that as possible as well. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this battle. Um, so it looks like Egypt and Bactria are slowly um, moving forward. We'll have a look at some of the units that they are bringing. It looks like Bactria is bringing a lot of Hillmen, um, which is not surprising. These guys are, well, one of their only melee infantry units. They can bring Thorax Swords, which I'm surprised he didn't bring, but he did put a lot of his money into his War Elephant, or his Indian armored elephants. He's brought a lot of levy pikemen, which again, I guess he can't, couldn't afford to bring um, better pikes. I don't know what the budget was, but I presume not very high. But look at this long line of pikes. Good God. Won't want to get in the way of that. So with the pikes, he may have to play defensive. So I'd, it will be interesting to see how this one pans out. Right, this is the first time of me watching the uh, replay as well. He's brought some Bactrian and Noble Horse. He's brought some Bactrian and Peltasts. More Bactrian and Noble Horse. He's brought a lot of them. Um, throw off spears and Bactrian Hillman and his general is Bactrian Royal Guard. Egypt's brought a lot of Axemen as well. Looks like it must have been a low budget because these Cranian Axemen aren't very expensive either. Either um, Thorax Swords and Nubian Bows, yes, I would say so. Well, they spent, he must have spent a lot of money as well on his elephants. So clearly, they've got a tactic that they're going to go for. They've brought Tarotine Cavalry as well. Um, let's have a quick look at Boy. We don't see Boy often on the battlefield. He seems to have brought uh, Sword Followers, which is like a medium sword unit. Oh, they're actually they're heavy. They're heavy sword. Um, Axe Warriors, they're medium uh, melee infantry. All look very similar, don't they? Boy, they don't like... Not not to hate on CA, but it looks like they didn't put much effort into their uh, modelling for them. They didn't really change up too much. They all seem to just have shields. Maybe some different helmets, and that's about it. He also brought... Um, some Celtic Slingers, he brought some Levy Freeman, I guess they're just going to be like cannon fodder, and we have Oath Sworn and Heavy Horse. Not quite sure what Epirus is doing, but we do have the first shots of the battle. Looks like it's going to be some archers uh, letting loose on some Cranian Axemen. Get their point of view. Look, they're running away. What cowards. Well, I guess that's not a bad move since uh, Bactrian Noble Horse has been mobilized to come and take them out. But they're actually taking quite a few casualties of these Cranian Axemen. If we have a like, close look at them, they don't have a lot of armor to them. They have literally just got a wooden shield and like the clothes they're wearing and an axe. But I mean, they can barely actually see. You can barely see um, the forces in there if you're taking their perspective. Here we go. Looks like some um, boy cavalry is coming out, some heavy horse. Oh, this is going to be a good charge. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Knock a lot of them down, but be interesting to see. Where did that Bactri oh, the Bactrian um, noble horse decided to get his own charge off? But it did actually charge into some Thessalian Cav. It did rout the um, Arch unit though. So that was actually a good kill. And it looks like now that the Cavalry is going to turn around and face each other off. And I'd say... Uh, I don't know. Heavy Horse should win, but it's taking a lot of casualties. And there we go. The bat battle has already unfolded. Cranian Axe are now being mobilized. Looks like the Heavy Horse is breaking. Um, and the Bactrian uh, Noble Cavalry is still standing. Um, the Thessalian Cav won't do too well in long melee. So they need to get out of there as well. But here we go. Arrows going over top and it looks like the first battle has started. The first little skirmish. It's going to be some Axemen. 
I'm going to be interested to see what they do with the cavalry. They've got a huge battery here going on. Oh, some Tarantine Cav coming in for a little charge. Going to try and get these... Uh, yeah, that's a very slow charge, I won't lie. Trying to get these um, Cretan Archers. But, I mean, it looks like this Sailing Cavalry is going to just get them and take them out. So, that's good. That's a bit of a waste by the Egyptian player here. He's kind of lost this uh, Cav unit. He's going to send another one in. A bit of a strange move. Looks like the Heavy Horse did actually manage to... Um, regroup and has made another assault and some axe warriors have been sent in and they've broken those two Koranian axe units so that's very well played by um, the boy and the Epirus player they didn't take too many casualties but uh, they managed to route a few units now it looks like Bactri sending in his infantry sending in some uh, hillmen in they go looks like the slingers are going to fire over the top what are they firing at? oh they're firing at the Sy mercenary Syrian archers, a very expensive unit they look like they're taking a lot of casualties, actually, as well. And here we go. Some Javis going in, and some Javis going in um, in reply. And it looks like some Axe Warriors are being sent in. And this should be a fairly even fight, I imagine. Both of medium melee, I think. I believe Hillman are medium melee. Yeah. Surprising that they are medium melee, even though they have just cloth on. Um, I imagine... Well, it looks like they're losing, actually, decisively. Um, and they, now they're getting flanked, so certainly this one will break quite quickly. Look at the fighting. Oh, men being tipped over shields. Excellent. Chopped down. Excellent. Oh, beautiful. And here we go. The pikes are being mobilized. So as they're breaking, they're now going to trap these units in with their pikes. Not a bad idea, but I mean, it's whether they can do it quickly enough. Get these guys in formation. They're sort of in formation here. They are in formation elsewhere. And these hillmen might return. They're not too beaten up, but yeah, the boy player's not going to fall in for that trap. Looks like Egypt sent another unit of axemen in. Why? Save your men. You're not, lo you're not winning this, but he is focusing down their general. Ooh, this could be huge. If they can take out the Empress General here, he's pretty beaten up. I think he's still alive. Yep. Yeah. If you like, look over a different unit. Let's say, oh, General dead or whatever, and then you'll know if they're alive. But, I mean, this is interesting by the uh, Bactria player. Just carry on charging with his pikes. He's going very deep into enemy formation, like into the enemy lines. He needs to support these pikes with, um, well, with more troops, basically. Bactria, but I mean, he's certainly forcing them back, but look at this, it's the, like this unit here is breaking, this one here is not going to be too long, they're get, just getting jabbied and like skirmished with pi, and um, with slings, slingers, sorry, um, but yeah, they are, yeah, they're probably losing that, they really need to send up more troops, what have they sent in here, more uh, noble horse, against Etruscan hot plates, uh, an interesting move, against spears, never a good idea to send cavalry in though, so these Etruscan hot plates should, Take out these cab very nicely. The hillmen have been resent in. What's Egypt doing? What is Egypt? Not too much at the moment. It looks like um, it looks like Epirus has sent in some levies to go and die, basically. And this is the, it's their time to sacrifice a unit. Interesting tactics from both sides. Sending like one or two units off on their own. They're not making a killer push. But as I say, that it does look like Bactria might be about to make it. Might be out, about to mobilize his entire army. Got to watch out for these Indian elephants. Um, because, I mean, certainly Boy didn't bring anything to counter that elephant force. He's got no archers, he's just got slingers, which don't have fire ammunition. So he's going to rely on Epirus to deal with that, with his archer ammo. It looks like Epirus is also just getting ready to defend his flank. Egypt is getting ready, it would seem. Those Thorax swords, probably some of the nastiest units on the battlefield. Be interesting to see more Hillmen being sent in, dealing with the Etruscan Hoplites. They're not in for Hoplite formation, so they might be able to win that. It'll be interesting to see. More pikes being sent up. It's such a waste. I'd hold them back. Don't send... Send in your hillmen first. Trap the units in combat like these sword followers. Trap them in combat. Now, like, turn this unit around. Surround this unit here. Like, chasing these guys, they're going to be happy to be chased. Because you move so slowly as a pikeman. I mean, yeah, these hillmen might actually win this. They're surrounding this uh, sword follower unit. Like, and these hillmen move so much quicker. You can just trap them. Which I... I'm sure that's what the Bactrian player was trying to do, is trap these guys down with faster moving units and then get them with pikes. But he looks like he's about to be flanked here. Yeah, not a good sign. Axe Rory's about to flank these guys. I mean, the Bactrian Hillman will actually get there. Wow, the Hillman are wavering to these sword followers, even though they're wing. Bactrian's just outclassed, it would seem. His roster's just not good enough, it would seem, to just beat 
Like his infantry just on it. Um, boys infantry not gonna win. I mean they are sort of surrounding them here. Um, with the pikes, but the pikes are in turn being surrounded by sword followers. And Bactri's running out of stuff quite quickly. It's gonna he's gonna have to rely on Egypt to really do some heavy lifting. More pikes being sent in. Here we go. Form formation. Are they gonna charge? No, they're not. Bactri is falling back again. He's having a really rough time. But here we go. Egypt has come in. He's gonna swing in with his Thorax swords. And he's gonna make some differences here. That's what we like to see. Egypt coming to the rescue. And boy. It's holding strong. And now uh, Epirus is going to send him some uh, Etruscan hot fights. Help thicken the line. Defend the flanks. This could uh, go on for a little while, this little combat here. What's going on elsewhere? I try to keep an eye on the bigger picture. Not too much at the moment. It looks like... Really? Wow. Okay, so Epirus' general very much... Yep, yeah, that might be Epirus' general dead. If not broken. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, he's gone. So Epirus is down a general. So balance power, you'd say, now shifting back in favor of Bactria and Egypt because they have both their generals. That was a strange move by Epirus. He had no need to send his general over here. Boy, he had this under control. He should have just kept his general like back here with the uh, Oath Sworn general. But, I mean, Boy's now got to really do a lot of work here for Epirus. But, I mean, here we go. Got to watch out for these African elephants. Maybe they're going to... I think they might be trying to go for a general. Their own general, but here we go. Uh, fire arrows scaring off the elephants. Smart, smart. So now Egypt really needs to deal with um, Ephraim's archers and just shoot them. Take them out. I mean, Ephraim's looking in an interesting position of his own. Oh, here we go. Elephants in. Elephants in. They're, they are going manic, but they are ch chasing down some. I think these are Oath Sworn. So this is huge. Elephants now going mad. Um, bad place for them to go mad. You want them really to go mad later on. It looks like there are spears in square formation. That's kind of cool. And they're throwing javis just everywhere they go. This is no, it's an axe warrior unit, not oath sworn. Oh no, it might have been. Oh, this oath sworn unit is so beaten up. They go. They are out of control. They they look fairly fresh as well. Poor guys, knocked over by elephants. And there you go, these um, Bactrian Noble Horse, they uh, kind of suicide charged themselves, but they did get those slingers. So that's kind of big. Bactrian Royal Cavalry here, though, really needs to get out of combat. I don't know where the rest of the unit is. It's over here? They're not, they're not dismounted, are they? They are. What happened? Bactrian, no. What happened? No, that's a strange move. What happened to the cavalry? Did they just... Like, did he dismount them by accident or something? I don't know. But he's going to make them feel the pain in a minute. These elephants are going to just carry on charging into boys' stuff. Jesus. Can we get some good views of this? Sort of, yeah. Uh, they can't, well, they're out of control, I think. Oh, no, they're not now. I'd say... So, Bactria's lost a general as well. So, it's down to Egypt and Boy, really, who's going to win this, do you imagine? Because you imagine... Well, Bactria's lost a lot already. His elephants are starting to lose a few men as well. Where is the... Egyptian general. Oh, the Egyptian general's in combat as well. He's also charging down some boy units. It looks like he's taken out a sword follower unit. He's still fairly fresh. Fairly fresh, and he's still got his full complement of troops. Could have done with this unit being uh, over here earlier. Like, these pikes are actually going to be huge in getting here now. Get these pikes. So, help support the Thoros spears. Looks like Indian Armored Elephants, they're going to do their work quite nicely over here. They're doing a lot of damage. Let's just keep an eye on the front line over here. It's kind of chaotic. It looks like the Pikes of Epirus doing their job. Are these some... This is just pikemen. They're just basic stuff. Um, they're holding their line. They really need to just flank around. If they're going to... Like, these... If they can get control of these Elephants again, which they can, slam into the back of these guys. This will cause a huge rout. Boys basic... Well, boys... All over the place. It's really coming down to the last few units, you can imagine. If, Epr um, if uh, Egypt can keep his general alive, there's a chance for these uh, attackers, you could almost call them. But yeah, these pikes, look at them. They're not going to do anything anytime soon. The chaos that's going on over here. Thoros spears holding to the last man. Elephants in here. Jeez, it's chaos. This Oath Sworn unit won't hold long. Oh, God. 
Good thing elephants don't do friendly fire, or friendly charge, you call it. But they are actually getting a flank at the Oath one, so they might break the infantry. Fire arrow is coming in now. There's pikes. Oh my gosh, it's just chaos. Yep, that's, that unit's surely going to break. So there's sword followers. Wow, I thought it was Oath one. They look very similar. Um, I think most of the units over here. Yeah, this is most of the unit. And they're breaking the sword, uh, the infantry. That's huge. Where's... The okay. So the Indian Armoured Elephants did charge into the back of Pikes, not Pikes, uh, Royal Peltas, even better possibly. A very good uh, melee unit. That's good, that's what they need to do. They need to just use this unit for Hammer and Anvil. There's only two of them left though. Bit of a shame to see. Needed to support it with infantry, but it's going to come down to, I think Egypt's got this area under lock and key really. He's surrounding, and he just needs to mobilise his Pikes, send the Pike in. Thorax pikes surround these Thor um, these. They just need to move forward a little bit. They're not quite ready. Oh, the elephants are in here anyway. Does it really matter? Look at the chaos going on in these hedges. You like all of a sudden you just like you mind your own business, just looking forward, fighting your opponent in the hedges, and out of the hedges comes an elephant, and they've routed a unit of 85 more royal peltas. That's huge. Um, I'd say right now Egypt's got this. I'd say Egypt's really done well here. And Bactria, like, keeping this armoured elephant unit alive. That's huge. Um, this pike unit really needs to go up here and start fighting this Oswan. Um, because these Thorax swords will not hold long. Um, elephants, I guess you just... You've got to try and get them to flank around these units over here. Oh! I say Egypt's got this. But Egypt's starting to break over here. Egypt's lost his general, hasn't he? Yes, he has. I think no one has a general left. I've just realised... So it's literally going to come down to what's elite, how tired it is. This pike unit here, for instance, is being flanked and it's, that's not good. Um, Egypt's got a lot of stuff stacked up here, like this pike infantry unit here. Not really doing anything. His pikes, he's not really managed so well. Not like a... They're hard to manage, I will admit. Pikes, you've got to get them right and in a pitch battle it's hard. As we saw with Bactria. But I mean, certainly Egypt needs to move that other, mobilize that other unit pikes. Um, right, let's see what's happening down here then. It looks like these Thorax swords are just holding out, but they could really do with their Thorax counterparts here. These pikes really could have helped, could have surrounded, could have surrounded these Oathsworn. Now the Oathsworn is just going to get some nice easy kills, cutting them down. Get those numbers up. Yep. Chopping them down. Uh, it's sad. I mean, actually they're not quite broken yet, but they're about to break. Okay, that's more Axe Warriors breaking. Epirus is breaking now completely. Apart from this unit over here, these hot plates. Look, Levy Freeman, not a good sign for a uh, boy that he's just got Levy Freeman left. Egypt's got most of his elite stuff left. Though he is getting a nice little flank here, this unit of pikes is very much out in the open. They surround this unit here. Yeah, now Epirus sees what he has to do. He's now committed to attacking, so now... Uh, to committing to attacking the Oath one. So now these hot plates, they really should get a bit further around, get the flank properly set up. But they are going to start to lose decisively because they're surrounded. And here we go. The Pikes are going to go. This is huge. Pikes late game, very huge. And the other Pike unit here. Oh, no, this is Etruscan Hot Plates. They're just breaking now. Really need to go over here and support these Pikes. They're just facing the wrong way. They're dying. No. Sort it out, Egypt. You can do this. You can beat. Boy, he's got... Not much left, that's great. He's got sword followers that are pretty beaten up. Levy Freeman, which will break at the first sight of an enemy. Here we go, the pikes have turned around. They're going to face the hot plights. Oh, it's it's rough. It's rough. They're in a really sticky position. What's happening there? He's just, moon, he's just moonwalking. Yeah, now look at them. They're backing up into the hot plate formation. This can't end well. And there they go, they're going to break. Yep, they broke just like that. So that was a huge, that's huge for um, Epirus and Boy. And Egypt's isolating himself. What's he doing? This I know the Thorax Sword unit over here is doing great. Uh, but now it's surrounded. Look, it's about to get surrounded on three sides. Jesus. Boy did that well. Worked that well. Lured them out. And now Egypt is getting surrounded slowly. And Epirus is still alive. And that unit's broken. Now it's looking very much in favour of Boy. God, this is coming down to the edge. The very few last units. What they really need to do, they've got no 
missiles left. He really should have backed himself into a bit of a V and tried to just win it like that. Like, he can't do anything else. Ooh, very nice. Nice little missile charge. Might get these mercenary Etruscan hoplites to break before the rest arrive. But he can't afford to lose that other pike unit. He cannot afford to use that other pike unit. You gotta remember that Boy, even though he has probably more units, he's, two of those units are F Levy Freeman. I don't know where they are. They are out here. Right, now you start to commit the pikes. Because everything else is getting committed into this big blob of a fight. You route these Levy Freeman, pikemen, come on. Route these Levy Freeman. And then you go to the aid of your ally. Well, not your ally, the rest of your men. Here we go, pikes slowly coming forward. And they're going to just engage these Levy Freeman. That's very good. Slowly stabby stabby away at these Levy Freeman. And they're breaking just like that, I think. I think, well, they're not broken. They're reforming. They've actually barely lost any men. They're very fresh. So they could actually be kind of useful. I mean, he's done well here. This Levy Freeman unit's behind the pikes. No. It's just not got enough men. That's the problem. The pikes have got too many men to deal with. Too many units. But it's all chaos going on in these hedges, which isn't great for me to see what's happening and for you guys to show you what's happening. I'll show you the blood and the sweat and the gore that's going down as much as possible. Levy Freeman. I'd say the Levy Freeman will probably do fine here because they're actually flanking. They should be fine. They probably won't break anytime soon. The Pikes are having a lot of trouble chasing that other unit down. Look at them. Force every two seconds to turn around. They're going to do it again. The Levy Freeman, here they come. I'm going to just take out a couple more pikemen bit by bit. There we go. And he's going to have to turn them around. And there they go. They're breaking. Wow. A unit of 141 broke. And that is Egypt gone. A costly victory for Boy. Well played. Boy, like, making some really good... Um, like surround like surrounding units at the very end there, like pikemen. Like if the um Egypt made it just taking it a little bit more slowly, he may have actually won that. Like the pikes just were outmaneuvered and surrounded and pikes when surrounded don't end up surviving very long. But anyway, we'll have a look at the uh, end results. We have Boy here with a hundred and fifty one kills with his O Sworn, that's very good. The other O Sworn not doing so well, getting killed by elephants. Sword followers getting 155. Actually, 494 insane there you go that's a 500 kills for that unit nearly that's insane it's cavalry doing okay nearly getting 100 kills excuse me and uh yeah that's kind of it is levy freeman actually doing okay 50 kills for levy freeman's not that bad actually epirus see how he did 177 kills for his general that's not too bad even if he did sacrifice him his etruscan uh hot pikes getting 163 kills his pikes getting 251 even though they were getting flanked at one point and i was like Dude, move them. They were actually getting a lot of kills. Hot White's getting 146. Very good for them. And his Royal Pale Task getting 121 kills. So not too bad either. Fall in glass. Uh, that's definitely not how you say it. But it's a Rohan chant. I know that. And that's a cool name. I, I love that. 700 kills with his Indian Armoured Elephants. Insane. 101 kills for his Bactrian Noble Horse. And uh, 146 kills for his mercenary Syrian archers. That's very good. His pikes getting outmaneuvered and killed. That's unfortunate for him. Um, if they kept them alive, they may have been huge. I really think if he'd pinned like units down with his Bactrian Hillman, then brought in the pikes to support, could have been huge. Um, and could have devastated um, Boy, really. But and then, so well done to him anyway. He did very well with his elephants. Uh, and then Andreas, um, 239 kills with his. His general sacrificing him, but he's getting a lot of kills, so he can't complain. His uh, Thorax Sword is doing very well. Most of them getting 100 kills. One getting 245. Um, and then his Pikes not doing so well. 81 kills. You could have thought you may have done better. And look how fresh they were, even at the end. His Karenian Axe from getting over 100 kills. Two of them doing very well as, as well. And then his Archers, 152 kills. Not bad for a Nubian um, Bowman, which aren't, I do believe, aren't that um, great. I think they're pretty cheap, but I could be wrong. They might be the most expensive. Um, but anyway, thank you, uh, Legionnaires, for stopping by and checking out this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed the battle. And if you did, then please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment if there's, uh, well, any any uh, battles that you want me to try and recreate. My, um, and if you want to send in your own battles for me to check out, like Prem did here, then join the Papal Legion Discord down below in the description. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.